Yo, Diesel, how you missed two guns that you own that you haven't done a review on? Ask me no questions, I'll tell you no lies. It's cracking with a family. It's your boy, Aunt Diesel. What up? Aunt Diesel Vision still me, alright? So I was looking through all the videos that I've put out and I noticed that I ain't got any videos on two guns that I've had the entire time. So right now I'm going to go ahead and show you one of the two. Boom. Para Ordnance GI Expert Edition 1911. Safety check for the Safety gurus, safe direction, ooh, love it. It is heavily melanated, like your boy. All black, I love the finish. It, it's got a, a nice, a nice matte black finish. As you can see it has the, the, the dovetail in the back. It has the palm swell safety and skeletonized hammer, skeletonized trigger, stainless steel barrel. As you can see, this is chambered in 45 ACP. Skeletonized trigger, and if you notice in there, there's a little screw right there. That screw can be tightened down or loosened to adjust the, the trigger weight, because you know, 1911 triggers, they're so, so perfect. I love them. Look, look at how crisp this is. Barely moved. And the follow-up shots are super simple. Super simple. Black para ordnance grip. I'm thinking about getting some new grips because I want to kind of trick this out a little bit because you see these people where they have $3,000 1911s and they have that break-in period. What if someone breaks in my damn house during my break-in period and then my gun's jamming up? Y'all crazy as hell. But to each his own. Do what you want to do. I do. I put probably 200 rounds through this the first day I got it. There was one failure to feed one out of 200 rounds previous owner literally put eight rounds through it and didn't like the recoil and then that's when your boy swooped in like hey let me get that stainless steel barrel as you can see now i'm gonna go ahead and lock that back the barrel is five inches and all my guns is clean i haven't shot this in in a while but i love this gun this is more my safe queen than any other gun. I, I shoot all my guns regularly. I don't know why I like this one so much that I don't even want to get it dirty. Those smudge marks, after I get off of this video, I'm going to wipe those down. I'm going to get those smudge marks up out of this because, you know, I really like this firearm. Steel guide rod, not polymer. I think I want to get chrome accents. I'm not sure because parts for this bitch are expensive. The, the dovetail that I wanted to get, the chrome dovetail, 130 bucks for a chrome dovetail. The chrome skeletonized trigger, 89 bucks. The chrome slide lock, 89 bucks. In order to get this to where I wanna get it to match the barrel, just the accents alone are gonna cost me about three, four hundred dollars. And I already told y'all, I don't spend on accessories more than what I paid for the gun. Y'all know me, just, just feel me. One of the things that I wanna change are the sights. The front sight, they are steel, so that's perfect for me. The rear sight though, you see that? You know, in, I'm not, it works, but I much rather have something that I can adjust for windage. The magazine holds eight rounds. Now the safety is awesome. 
Big, huge safety. Real super easy to, to manipulate. Safety will only work when the hammer is back. Then look, won't work. Palm swell safety, won't work. Now, with the safety off, there it go. Let me try without charging the slide. See, will not go up. I love this 1911. I don't have a holster to carry it in, so I don't carry it. And like I said, I like it so much, this might just be my safe queen. Let me tell you how I got this bad boy. Regular range ammo, American, American Eagle. So one day I was at work on a supervisor detail and the guy that was training me on the detail, we were going to lunch and I was telling him, yo, I'm about to get off of work today. It's payday and I'm about to go get my Sig Sauer SP 2022 chambered in 40 caliber. And he was like, oh, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I got a gun and I don't really like it because you know, it, it kicks too hard. I'm like, expound. He was like, yeah, I got this pair of Ordnance 1911 and I want to get rid of it. And I was like, for how much? And he was like, well, I only put eight rounds through it and I got it for $2.99 at a Black Friday sale years ago. And I remember that distinctly because that was the same day I got my Bushmaster Carbon 15. So I remember that. But I got the Bushmaster Carbon 15 in didn't want to buy two guns, so I said, okay, I'll just go ahead and pass on the 1911. I'm like, yo, let's stop through your crib and let's look at it real quick. I got cash on hand, right? Stop at his house when we're, you know, by the, you know, when we're on our way to lunch. And he brings it outside. And the case had the the round, the the fired round to make sure that it was functional, had all that in there, had the slide lock on there and the whole nine, I was like, damn, you know, come, comes in a nice green hard case. What you looking to get for that? And he was like, yo, I got it for 300. I only put eight rounds through it. You, could you give me two for it? No doubt. And he was like, yeah, I got 500 rounds of uh, 45 ACP downstairs too. You know, and I just throw that in there. And me being the solid guy I am was like, I'd feel like I cheated you. Because I looked this up and this shit MSRP is six seventy nine. It was on a Black Friday sale though, but six seventy nine. I told him I feel like I'd be, I'd be cheating you if I got five hundred rounds of ammo, forty five ACP, which ain't cheap, and a gun for two hundred bucks. I told him, hey, look, I'll give you four for all of it. He was like, are you sure? And I was like, yeah, you know that that'll have me in good conscience that I paid for the gun and I paid at a discounted rate for the ammo. I handed him $400. We drew up paperwork, bill of sale. Then when we went to lunch, he bought your boy lunch. Like shit, cool, appreciate it, partner. So I got a good ass lunch and I got me a pair of ordinance 1911 that is sexy. And like I said, it's not a two, three thousand dollar 1911, but y'all already know I'm spoiled. I've never had to pay full price for any gun I ever got. And I ain't gonna start today. And it damn sure won't be for a 1911 that needs a break in period. That's just me. Y'all do what y'all wanna do, but me, break in periods, meaning I broke in the box and I open that bitch up and I got a firearm that is fully functional off the rip. It is smooth. The long slide, the, the, the five inch barrel makes target acquisition so easy. I was shooting a can on the ground from probably about 15 yards, 20 yards. One last look at this bad boy. Let me stunt for a minute. It is sexy. I would show you the breakdown of this bad boy, but I really like my channel and it's growing slowly but surely and I don't want YouTube to pull me down because of their beliefs in slavery. So I won't do the breakdown. It is way different from any other gun I own. And that could be another reason why I don't shoot this often because 
after every probably 200 rounds, 300 rounds through any of my firearms, that's when I break it down and clean it and get it back to factory settings. But if y'all want to see it, go ahead and uh, look at other 1911 you know, field strip videos because I ain't going to be doing one on mine because there's nothing for them to get rid of me. You know what I'm saying? I'm too small. I ain't got nobody backing me right now. But it is what it is. I appreciate y'all for watching. Do one of those for your boy. I'm tired of telling y'all, but do this for your boy. Y'all be easy. Don't study my moves. Just check my footwork. Peace.